Hi everyone, so I'm back with part two, the makeup tutorial for this look. Um, at the very end of my hair tutorial, my camera cut off. I don't know if my memory card ran out of memory or if it just pauses and goes into sleep mode. I don't know, but it's frustrating. <laughs> Um, so I will show you the finished part of my hair. I went back and fixed my uh, little swirls in the back. Hopefully you can see this. You can't tell. Um, so this is like one of the updos you could do. Um, you can also do a French twist in the back and put your bandana on or add flowers to the French twist however you like to do it. So that's the hair part. Okay, so we're going to do the makeup now. And I will, I've done my foundation. I used the Laura Geller uh, spackle as my primer. I used the W7 HD foundation in Buff. Um, I'm gonna do a review on this later. So now I'm going to add my eyeshadow primer and it's the Urban Decay, my favorite. So I'll go ahead and do this on my lids. <coughs> my husband is in the kitchen making chili for dinner and I just sampled it and the spice is making me choke. <laughs> okay. I forgot to turn the fan off so I'm sorry about all the noise in the background if it sounds like I'm on a, on a windy outing. <laughs> okay so I'm going to do, go ahead and use my concealer. This is my Chanel in number 10 concealer. I love this stuff. Starting to get a breakout up here. And I'm getting one right there on my nose. It's in, I woke up this morning going, oh, you're going to have to break out today when I want to do videos. And for my blush, I'm using my Rimmel Tickle Me Pink one of my favorites and I've just realized I left my face powder in the other room get my uh, powder real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my powder and I use the Palladio Rice Powder in Translucent. I've been using this forever and it's my favorite for getting rid of shine and staying matte. Um, my foundation I use today isn't matte so I'm not sure how long it's gonna look good.
on my eyebrows I have the IT Cosmetics um, Brow Power and it is the Universal Taupe. So now onto my eyeshadows. I'm going to use the W7 um, Lightly Toasted Natural Nudes Palette. I think I showed this in a video. I'm not sure, but just got all the lovely browns and nude colors. So I'm going to take, let's see here, I'm going to take this um, champagne pink color and put it on the lid. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband's noise in the background. Very pretty shimmery color. And next I'm going to, in my crease, add this brown right here. And then I'm going to take this fluffy brush from, it's just a cheapo from LA Colors, and I'm just going to soften this. And then I'm going to take... This, whoops, sorry, <laughs> very pale um, skin color shadow and do the upper brow bone. You can see okay. Um, I'm 
I'm not sure what's going on with my camera today, why it pauses or stops, so um, I'm not, I haven't tried the zoom in yet where you're just looking at my eye. Got hair or something tickling my nose. I'm running out of light, so I'm hoping that this turns out okay because it's frustrating. <laughs> I waited too late in the day to do this, and all the light in the house seems to be yellow. Next, we will do the mascara. Well, no, I better do my liner first. I don't wear liner much, so I was about to forget that process. So I'm using the Jet Cosmetics Black Gel Eyeliner. It's supposed to be waterproof. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll do a review with the um, foundation in one of my other videos. I'm not going to bring out a full wing because it's more of a daytime look and with my hooded eyes the way they are, I have, I'm starting to have a hard time getting the wing to be a really pretty flick. So I'm just going to keep it nice and easy this time. So that is my eyeliner done. I really hope that I haven't run out of filming and I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my mascara and I bought a new mascara to try. Um, my Rimmel was starting to irritate my eyes. I think it might have been starting to get old so I've quit using it. And I got this Cherry Moya, Cherry Moya Beck Lashes, and this is their Mile High Club Mascara. And I'll also do a review on this because I really like this wand. It's nice and skinny, but we'll see. It's supposed to, I don't know if it's waterproof or not. I didn't look. 
at the packaging. I'll look at it afterwards, and then when I do my review, I'll let you know. Okay, so this is my eyes done. I hope the lighting's okay because I'm down to almost hardly anything. It's 551, so I'll be surprised if this shows any nice uh, lighting. <laughs> I feel like that's all I ever talk about is the lighting. Um, there's my, mas my mascara. Went on pretty nicely. I'm, I like that uh, mascara so far. So now that everything else is done, it's down to the last thing, which is the lips. And I messed up the bullet. So I'm just going to put it on with my lipstick brush just so I don't end up with a glop on my mouth. This is the Wet n Wild by Fergie and Puccinista, and it's gorgeous. I thought it would be pretty with this hair flower. off my lipstick fixed so now I can use it. I forgot I had this um, lipstick. a nice metallic um, shimmer in it. one of them people that I will spend 20 minutes on my lips just to make sure <laughs> that everything's in the right spot. Okay, and that is the book, hair and everything. I hope everyone enjoyed this video segment and if you'd like to see more videos like this, I'm sure you do. Um, just comment on the bottom and let me know because I really had fun doing this even though I had trouble as usual. 
um, with my camera. Um, I don't know what's going on with it, so I'm just going to have to like dig for my booklet and read on what I may have had my settings on that's causing it to stop filming in the middle. <laughs> it seems like it just goes asleep or something. I don't know. Um, so I hope everyone had a great weekend and I'm hoping this will be posted up on Monday for my makeup Monday. I'm trying to keep certain like segments. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, um, just comment below. Um, I will be doing a review soon on these W7 products. Um, and I have a few other things in mind that I want to start incorporating into my channel so that you're not waiting forever or you don't get bored because sometimes it's hard to get motivated for me and everything. So I hope you have a nice weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.